good morning student today we are going to discuss about the concepts of network theorem okay so this is your second chapter in your circuit theory so in this th in this chapter we have a several theorems that is eight theorems superposition theorem evidence theorem norton theorem maximum power transfer theorem wilner's theorem telegen's theorem and reciprocity theorem and and finally compensation theorem okay we have eight theorems today i am going to give a brief introduction about the all the theorems why because before going to solve the theorems we need to know about what is be the purpose of theorems and all those things okay so i am opening my presentation so hope everybody watching this one okay so the purpose of the all the theorems before going to start my network theorems so you just remember about the two things because by solving these kind of problems we must know about these two concepts okay the first concept is redundant branches the second con concept is nature of source when the when they are inactive okay why because in the case of a inactive okay the behavior of the each source will differ okay so for that reason i am going to handle these two concepts before entering into the theorems okay so redundant branch so it is saying that redundant means which we are not at all considering while solving the problems okay so there is a two kinds of redundant branch the first kind of redundant branch is this is a open circuit in the case of this one we have a open circuit so in the branch the branch which is series with the open circuit in this network the r3 is the branch which is series with the open circuit there is no current flowing through this r3 so we are not at all going to consider this r3 while solving this kind of problems okay so we just remove r3 and solving the problem okay in the case of a second kind of networks means the branch parallel with the short circuit okay so this is your short circuit so the branch the branch resistance r2 is the branch which is parallel to the short circuit so the total current will flow through the redundant the total current flows to the short circuit okay so this concept will to better understanding you just remember the nature of current okay the nature of current follows three things the first one is if potential exist only the current flows the first one is the potential exist then only current flows the second one is if there is a closed path then only current flows so the, the after the first condition checks the first condition is potential difference so in the case of first network the potential difference is there but in this the second condition is closed path in the case of a this network there is no closed path in the for r3 so the current will not flow through this r3 so that this will be considered as a redundant branch the third one is low resistance path so if the current flows like this the current has the two directions the current passing through r2 and the current passing through short circuit okay in as we know that the third condition is low resistance path out of these two branches the low resistance path is short circuit why because short circuit is having the zero resistance so the current comes from r1 it directly flows through short circuit there is no current flows through r2 so the redundant branch means if there is no current flowing through that branch we are not at all going to consider okay so kindly remember the three first one is the current nature is the current nature follows three steps if step 1 correct step 2 step 2 correct only step 3 okay the step 1 is the first condition is voltage present or not if voltage present only current will flows the second one is if voltage is there the second one is whether the closed path is present or not if closed path present the third condition is whether the where is the low resistance path so it will checks so by these three conditions redundant branch comes into the picture so in the case of first network r3 is the redundant branch in the case of a second network r2 is the redundant branch the turning off why because in the case of a all the theorems we are making the sources as inactive are removing the sources okay so in the statement they are saying that they replace with the internal resistances if internal resistance is not known all the voltage sources are replaced with the short circuit okay removing means the term removing says there is no presence okay we have to make that as absent so voltage if v 
we want to make the voltage source absent means we have to make the voltage as zero so in the case of voltage voltage zero will present in short circuit so we always if you want to replace the voltage source or if you want to make the voltage source as inactive means we have to replace with short circuit in the case of a current source okay if you want to make the current source as inactive means absent we just replace with the open circuit so in the case of all the theorems okay maximum i think superposition thevenin's norton's and maximum power transfer theorem uh, in all the theorems we have to replace the sources with these kind of things means voltage source with short circuit current source with the open circuit when internal resistance is not known conditions okay so this is these are all be the basic shortcuts if you know we can solve the problems in a easy manner okay so objective for the all the theorems okay whether the main objective for the each and every theorem is to either it is going to be verify or to find okay there are only the two purpose the first purpose is either they are going to be verify this something as per the statement either they are going to be find okay so in the majority of the theorems we are going to find voltage across or current through either one or both things in a particular branch we are not at all going to find with the all things in all the theorems we state that to find the voltage across a particular branch or a current across a current flowing through a particular branch okay so on specified type of networks okay we have a different kinds of networks either linear or non linear bilateral or unilateral single source or multi source lump and distributed okay so we are going to handle with the either linear type of networks or bilateral networks or a single source networks or multi source networks are a lumped networks okay so the main objective is to convey whether we have to classify the theorems whether the, the theorem is going to be verify or to find okay so the theorems are classified with respect to two things verification theorems and the find out theorems okay so in the find out whether we are going to find out voltage or current okay so the third one is how it is going to be handled okay so the theorems need to say about okay in each theorem statement it has to say these three concepts okay first one what is be the purpose okay whether we are going to be verify or whether we are going to be find okay if that is be the find okay whether we are going to find voltage or current okay which one we are doing okay so first it has to we have to think about which one we are going to handle second one on which type of networks this theorem will be applicable okay so if one theorem says that it is applicable for only single source if they given the multi source means we clearly says this theorem not obeys that one okay so firstly we have to know on which kind of networks this theorem is going to be work okay so there are a different kinds of networks linear non linear bilateral or unilateral single source and multi source lumped or distributed active or passive finally they will say about the statement okay statement with a proof okay so if we know these three for each theorem each theorem statement can be remembered in easy manner guys okay hope you understood well okay thank you if you have any doubts kindly ask in the comment box thank you guys have a nice day